From colossal monsters to mysterious animals, here are eight deep sea creatures captured by Google Earth. Number 8. Ogi Bay Creature An engineer by the name of Pita Witahira was the first person to discover a weird-looking site in the water in Ogi Bay, New Zealand. Pita was researching the area when he noticed an unexplained wake that could have only been left by something huge. In fact, Pita believed that the creature that left the wake had to have been around 40 feet long. Because of the length and width of the wake, Pita knew it could not have been a shark or a whale. He further states that the creature was moving too quickly and sharply in order to be a whale. Pita contacted Google, and Google told him that it could have been some type of boat, but Pita did not agree. He said that there was not white foam from the boat motor. Pita then suggested that it could be a taniwa, which is a creature from Maori mythology. A taniwa is a creature that lives in deep pools or rivers, dark caves, or in the sea, especially in places with dangerous currents or deceptive breakers. They often live in areas with large waves and look like whales or large sharks. However, there are some that think the Oki Bay creature is a hoax. They say that if you zoom in enough in the Google image, you can see a boat. It's up for you to decide for yourself. Number 7. Giant Centipede in waters close to Scotland, Google Earth captured what appeared to look like a giant centipede. The image was shot from a space satellite. If you look closely into the waters, you can see what looks like a long, light-colored rope-looking thing with tiny little fibers coming out of it. However, this is not a large rope. If you compare an image of a centipede and the image of the possible giant centipede in the Scottish waters, they are very similar. According to theorists, this giant centipede is believed to be over 120 meters long, just swimming along, minding its own business as the image was being taken. Of course, the first reaction for many people was to wonder if this image was real or fake. People began to debate on what the giant centipede really could be, if you ruled it out. Some viewers stated that it was just a hoax, while others wondered if it was a shadow from something else. There were also users that questioned if it was some type of technical glitch in the Google Earth system. Or was it Loch Ness? Scottish waters have a lot going on. Number 6. A Giant Crab After a photograph of a giant crab made its way around the internet, people began speculating whether the Google Earth image was real or fake. Nicknamed Crabzilla, it is believed that the crab is about 50 feet long. The picture was taken off the harbor at Whitstable, Kent. It was made popular by the area's Weird Whitstable, which is a website devoted to strange things in the area. The owner of the website, Quinton, stated, At first, all I could see was some faint movement. Then, as it rose from the water, I thought, that's a funny-looking bit of driftwood. He then went on to say it had glazed blank eyes on stalks, was swiveling wildly, and it clearly was a massive crab with crushing claws. If Crabzilla is a true crab, it would knock the 12-foot Japanese spider crab off the world's largest list. But as with most sea monsters, there are doubters. Sea life expert Dr. Verity Nye, who has worked on logging new species of crabs, said it is impossible one of the creatures could grow so big. While Dr. Nye admits to not knowing what the area around the harbor looks like, she does claim that it is more likely someone is messing with the image. Number 5. Sea Monster of Corfu a tourist was shocked when a sea monster photobombed his picture. A man named Harvey was on a boat trip off the western coast of Greece taking pictures inside a cave. Sounds nice, right? He noticed the sea creature after he snapped a variety of photos. Harvey said, I have no idea what it could have been. I've never seen anything like it. The mysterious creature seems to resemble some kind of elongated manatee, which some have also said looks like a hippo. Perhaps it is some unknown cryptid from Greek mythology. A cryptid is a creature whose existence still needs to be proven. After the pictures surfaced on the internet, people were quick to try and figure out what the creature was. While some believe this sea monster is some type of unknown creature, many call it a hoax. A zoologist named Darren Nash from the National Oceanography Center believes he has discovered the real identity of the object in the photo. He claimed after looking at the photos that the object never really made sense to him as a living creature, and he believes he has found a perfect match for the mysterious sea monster. Dr. Nash thinks the photo shows a sunken, low freeboard fender, commonly found alongside boats to protect them from damage. Number 4. The Kraken A Google Earth shot of the seas close to an Antarctic island appears to show a huge creature moving around in the icy waters near Deception Island, appropriately named. The Kraken has been a legendary sea monster for at least a century. Basically, the Kraken looks like a giant squid. 
According to legend, the Kraken had a knack for harassing ships, and many said it would attack vessels with its strong arms. If this strategy failed, the beast would start swimming in circles around the ship, creating a fierce whirlpool to drag the vessel down. Theorists now believe that Google Earth has proven the Kraken exists. According to Google Ruler, it says the sea creature measured about 100 feet from head to end, but the end looks like just the middle area of a giant squid, which means it could be close to 200 feet long with tentacles. However, some people believe it is a different sea creature. Some say it looks like it could be a plesiosaur. These sea creatures were marine reptiles that were known to have first swam in our oceans about 205 million years ago. They were most common in the Jurassic period. However, it is believed that plesiosaurs died out about 66 million years ago, and other people speculate that the creature is a megalodon shark, which was known for its massive mouth and ginormous teeth. The megalodon shark lived about 23 million years ago. Number 3. The Loch Ness Monster A Google Earth image, which can be seen on the satellite mapping program, depicted a large object which resembled the sea creature clearly visible beneath the surface of the water. Jason Cook spotted the possible Loch Ness Monster when he was browsing the website satellite photos. Do any of you guys do this as a hobby? Let us know in the comments below if you've ever found anything interesting. He was later quoted as saying, I couldn't believe it. It's just like the descriptions of Nessie. Researcher Adrian Shine of the Loch Ness Project further said of the sighting that this is really intriguing. It needs further study. Well, anyone could have said that. Nessie was first brought to the world's attention in 1933, and since then, many people have claimed to have spotted Nessie. Said witnesses have often described her as being large, with a long neck and one or more humps protruding from the water. However, there are many people who have always believed Nessie was a hoax, including the Google image. Some people have described Nessie as nothing more than a plastic head attached to a toy submarine. Debunkers further believe that if Nessie does exist, we would have found bones of her ancestors. Along with this, many people have stated that Loch Ness could not hold such a huge sea creature, nor would the creature be able to sustain itself in these waters, as the waters would be too cold. There are plenty of reasons for it not to be the monster, of course. Maybe you should look at the Google image yourself and decide if you believe Nessie exists in the waters of Loch Ness. And now for number two, but first, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number two, Japanese Ningen. The Japanese Ningen is a famous mythical creature. However, it is believed by many that one was actually found in a Google Earth image. The Google image first appeared in a Japanese magazine. It shows Ningen swimming in the South Atlantic off the coast of Namibia. The Ningen is said to be between 60 and 90 feet long. The Ningen has been described as being a humongous, blubbery, whale-like creature whose smooth, pale form vaguely resembles the head, torso, and appendages of a human being. Furthermore, many believe that it also resembles a mermaid. Some witnesses claim that they have seen a mermaid tail. The Ningen sea creature has been spotted primarily at night and in colder waters, leading some to believe that it has been hiding in the Arctic beneath the ice. There is a lot of conspiracy surrounding the Japanese Ningen. Some people believe that the Japanese government is involved in a cover-up trying to hide it. They believe that this is due to a rare chemical compound it may produce that is either medicinal or highly venomous and able to be weaponized. This story further states that there are big men dressed in black who threaten anyone who talk about seeing the creature or tries to prove its existence. Number 1. Colossal Sea Beast A giant shadowy sea monster has been spotted lurking around the dock in Liverpool, England. A man named Simon Hoban said he stumbled on the unexpected image when he was surfing through images when he saw the dock on Google Earth. The image showed a huge white animal which is distinctly shaped like a shark, or a shark that is swimming on its back. If you look closely at the image, you can see what appears to be the shark's mouth and maybe even an eye or two. And if you look even more closely, you can see that the fins look more like arms waving in the water. Many people speculate that it is not a giant shark, but some other sea creature. The huge animal, which is much, much larger than some of the boats there, has already been dubbed the Merseyside Jaws. A marine biology expert said the large object could be a basking shark, which can grow up to 35 feet. He further stated, although it is unusual for tropical island sharks to be found in this area, it is not unheard of. Water creatures have been known to cruise the wrong way up rivers and canals and become stranded. The marine biologist also suspected that the creature might have been looking for a place to die. However, not everyone is convinced. Nobody wanted to cause a panic, but the dock does have free swimming lessons. 
However, the water temperatures at the time were the lowest on record, so nobody would be in the water, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you enjoyed these images in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.